everyone had gone up. I'm just looking for that magazine Ethel were reading. I hope you've noticed I'm not scared of electricity anymore. Well, not much. I couldn't touch a switch when it were only upstairs, but I've got used to it now. I hate to see you like this. Even though I'm a dirty coward? You're not. Not to me. Well, why don't I enlist? I could. I know I promised my dad, but he's not my owner. He's not the law. Am I frightened? Is that it, honestly? Don't be so hard on yourself. No one wants to go to war. Oh, I wish you'd cheer up. Please. I'd do anything to cheer you up. Like what? Like this? You just feel sorry for me. William, I've kissed you. You've wanted me to long enough. Well, now I have. Enjoy it. Does this mean you'll be my girl, Daisy? Because if you were my girl, I know I could tackle anything. Would you have any to spare for a poor traveller? Oh, yes, I would. William, I don't believe it. Pinch me. I am your dream come true. You're like a real soldier. I am a real soldier, thank you very much. Now, come and give me a kiss. Ooh. We'll have none of that. <laughs> oh, won't you let a Tommy kiss his sweetheart, Mrs Patmore, when he's off to fight the Hun? Have you finished your training? Not yet, but it won't be long now. Well, on the eve of departure, we'll see, but right now, put her down. Shelley, what do you think? Yeah. Smart, isn't it? <sighs> have you got that picture for me? I might have. Because you know what I'm going to ask you, so will you? William, you're not sure. You can't be sure. I am sure. So is she. Honey Daisy, isn't this just what you told me you hoped would happen? <laughs> it's like a fairy story. Is she right, Daisy? Are, are we engaged? Because if we are, I know I can tackle whatever may come. Do you want to go up top? The General's leaving and Mr Carson likes a full compliment. No, Daisy, not you. The war has not changed everything. I knew nothing bad had happened. I felt it in my waters. What about you? Did you have me boxed up and buried? I'm glad you're all right, honest. Well, you should be. It's the thought of you that keeps me going. Whatever's the matter with you? Someone walked over my grave. Where are we? At the end of the South Gallery. Now take this. Any news of Captain Crawley? He's doing much better. Thanks to you. Dad'll be here in a bit. Can you stay for a minute? I ought to go down. It's not fair on Mrs Patmore. She won't mind. Because I did want to ask you something. Daisy, would you ever marry me now? And not wait for the end of the war, like we said? You mustn't worry about all that for the moment now, William. You're here for rest, not excitement. That's right. There's no need to worry about it now. First, let's get you better. What would you think about it? I must go. They'll be sending out a search party soon. Just rest. You always said I wouldn't have to marry him when it came to it. Daisy, he's dying. What difference does it make? All the more reason. I can't lie to him at the end. Don't make me be false to a dying man. Well, what matters now is the poor lad knows some peace and some happiness before he goes. There's no need to make him leave. There is a need. Come in. No, I'm 
I'm dying. You don't I'm know. I'm dying. Daisy. I'm not going to make it. I don't have long. That's why you've got to marry me. What? No, listen. You've been my widow. A war widow with a pension and rights. You'll be looked after. It won't be much. But I'll know. You've got something to fall back on. Let me do that for you, please. I can't. It'd be dishonest. Almost like cheating. But it's not cheating. We love each other, don't we? We'd have married if I'd got through it and spent our whole lives together. Where's the dishonesty in that? You look lovely, dear. Just to say, the vicar is ready for us. Let's go up then. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the time of man's innocency, signifying unto us the mystical union that is the If any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak hereafter. You must be so tired, my lamb. Why not let me take over for a while and go and lie down? No, thank you, Mrs. Bachmore. I'll stay with him. I won't leave him now, not while he needs me. He doesn't need you no more, Daisy. He doesn't need none of us no more. <laughs> 